Hello everyone, this is Richard and I am back with episode 2 of Hardcore Survival. And as you can see, everything things are a little different. It's um, It was a little bit, I actually lost some of the footage, and so I'm having to start here. And yeah, the only real thing is I killed a few skeletons and I got a bow, and I also lost a little bit of hunger and a little bit of health in the process. But, and it's also day, or nearly day, it's becoming day. So, yeah, this is what I've got. And my plan is I'm thinking that we've got this huge river here, which connects to a lot of key places, especially the plains biome up ahead. And I want to keep located as my primary base near this lake. Oh, also, off camera, one of the things I did was um, I expanded this base slightly. But I want to keep located near this lake because it provides an easy source of water, provides an easy source of fishing once I get a fishing rod, and it provides an easy way to, if your body temperature gets hot, you can cool off just by jumping the lake and it rapidly cools you. So that is like the three main advantages. So I'm thinking a cool idea would be to connect these together. And I'm going to go get some wood because I drilled out some cobblestone there and I have a fair amount of cobblestone. So I need to get cut down a tree. Maybe I'll just cut down this one over here. And I want to plant... I want to also get some seeds while I'm at it so I can start planting some wheat. Because if I don't find a food source soon, I'm going to starve. Because, I mean, I can kill cows, but I'm trying to keep as many animals alive because eventually I need to breed them. And I can use wheat to breed them etc. And since there's a desert over as the other place, I'm worried that that won't really have many mobs in it. The only animal I find nearby is this cow. I'm hoping that I can find a few other um, mobs somewhere around here and breed them, because I really do need to be able to breed them. But yeah, that's the only one I see nearby. So I think we've got enough wood now, because I just need to basically build some stone tools. Then I could also use this river, um, once I connect these together, have a boat just sitting in here docked, and use that to go around and quickly move from place to place. Also, maybe I could put some trees, I was just thinking, up in this river, and that would give me some cover in case skeletons attacked, so that I would have more of a place to hide behind, like put some in this desert, put some dirt there. So I am already losing, yeah, I'm going to quickly get some seeds as well. Or try to at least. So far I'm not really having any luck. The more I jump, the more my hunger is going to go down. The more I punch as well. I might have to kill that cow and then just survive off of bread in the future. I never really realized how hard hardcore survival is to play on until I was actually doing it. Okay, here's four. Yeah, like, look, I'm down to four already. Just punching takes so much of your hunger away. If I could get six, that would be really nice, because that would be enough to get two slices of bread. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't have any bones yet. Or at least I don't think I do. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, I don't have any bones. The good thing is because I have a lake, we can just... we Or because we have a lake, I can just grow this right off the lake. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gravity's still in here. Okay. And I'm gonna make a hoe real quick with the wood I have. And that should be enough. Because in this you can starve to death. So yeah, I'm definitely probably gonna have to kill that cow. And these should be hydrated. That's actually eight, but I'll get more soon enough, hopefully. Let's hope this cow has some 
beef with him. Oh. Good thing I didn't trample the ones I just planted. Okay. There's probably got to be some mobs over in that, um... Yeah, there's probably got to be some mobs in that plains biome, so I don't really have an issue, I don't think. Because if I kill him, that'll be enough that the wheat farm will be able to go. Yeah, that buys me a little bit more time, because there was some steak there. I'll just need to actually cook it. And, oh yeah, the sun's gonna set soon. Oh, and I can make cookies with, um, these. And they'll be a good, easy food source to carry since they stack to 64 and they don't require a whole lot of wheat to make. And one of them, I think, makes eight, and each of them heal, like, four. So that's probably... I think that's pretty efficient, because it only takes, I think, two wheat to make cookies. So, like, all eight would heal four, um, hunger bar together, I'm pretty sure. So let me grab some of this jungle wood. And... Put the raw beef in there. Take that out. Since it services one and a half, that should be fine. And I'll quickly make an axe. Yeah, what I should also try and see is if I can kill a spider. Because if I can kill a spider, then I should be able to get the string, eventually enough string to make a um, fishing rod. So there's a lot of different opportunities for me to get food, but all of them are fairly far away. So, there. Oh, I'm not going to make an axe, though I should make one, but I'm going to make a shovel. First. And then I'll make an axe. And... I can see my water's getting low, so I'll fill up another water bottle. And that should cool me down, too. And if I fill it from the center, it doesn't come out as dirty water. So that way I don't have to waste wood purifying it. Okay, so now it's back up to 50%. And I'll just drink this one, too. And fill both of them. Forget that because this is technically a different Minecraft directory I set this up in as a profile, a separate Minecraft profile. Because of that, all my key mappings are the default, and I always map inventory to I, so I have to remember to use E. So I want to see if I can try and get these merging. And I don't have iron yet, so I can't make a bucket, so I might not be able to do it, actually. Okay, let me see. I think if I take this one out... I don't know water physics and water currents in Minecraft very well, so I don't know exactly how I would get... Let me see if through this side it'll link up. Yeah, they link up, but they're not at the full height. And since I can't make a bucket yet, I can't really fix that. So I'm going to eat that steak, because I forgot how quickly this wears out your hunger. You're gonna have to be careful not to step on that farm because I've got just very few seeds. I think bread only uh, heals like one and a half and it would take three of these so it's probably better to use the wheat that these grow into with the um, cocoa beans to make cookies. Because at this point I need to do the most efficient stuff since I have uh, most efficient roots since I have such limited resources. I 
Well, it's not a route. The most efficient way. So yeah, sorry I'm not talking much in this episode, but these first few episodes of the series are going to be pretty challenging. I mean, this whole series is going to be very challenging, but especially in hardcore survival, getting started out, with, especially with a mod that makes it much harder, is pretty challenging. I wonder if I'll be able to make it as far as um, the Ender Dragon. I really doubt that, but it would be cool to see if I could. Yeah, I love the reflections in this mod. They're quite nice. Also, so yeah, just a few things. Um, this week that I'm in, this is Monday. Today's Monday. But this week, I'm going to, is exam week for me in school. And after that, I will get off. So I probably won't have many um, big videos coming out this week. Like, I won't be able to get the Redstone Smart House Donner video out this week. And I won't be able to get any um, bigger videos like a Richard Plays Minecraft episode out this week. But after that, I'll be on a um, winter break, and hopefully then I'll be able to get some nicer, longer, bigger episodes out. So it looks like it's getting dark again. I almost wanted to go scout out that plains before it got dark, but we can't really do that now. And I'm going to actually put a few torches outside the house, because I don't want monsters spawning, like, right on the house. Yeah, and I'm gonna make some more charcoal. Uh, some more um, charcoal, I think. That's one and a half. That should do. So I think two would work. Oh um, no, that would only work for three. So that should work for four. I need one more wood for five, but so that should still get me at least four charcoal. And yeah, this was. I was planning to make this into a mine. Although I don't really want to do a whole lot of mining right now. Oh, and my, I need, I'm going to make a stone pick. Because, again, it'll wear out my hunger. And I would really hate to die this early in the series. But, yeah, since it's getting night, it's probably been around 10 to 12 minutes, I'd say. And let me just dig down a little. So because of that, I'll probably end the episode soon, because I try and keep these episodes short compared to my other content. Since my other content, I'm fine with making it a little longer sometimes, like 20 minutes or so, because it's more interesting. I guess for me it's at least more interesting, because there's a lot more cuts and there's a lot more getting done. But maybe you guys feel differently about that. That's awful dark now. I mean, it's not really dark, but I don't want to actually have monsters spawning. I think they have to be 16 blocks away from a player spawn monsters, but I don't. So I don't think that would be an issue. But I still don't want to have any unlit parts of the house. So yeah, that was right. I figured it would make exactly four. And then I can turn this last one into more sticks, which I can use two of these. So I'm just going to light this up real quick. Down here. And they all have this interesting, I think that's a glitch in the um, shaders mod, but they all have this interesting like water particle layered over them, which looks really odd. So hopefully that'll be fixed eventually. Remember, I'm still running on Minecraft 1.6.4. So this is actually not generated under the new terrain system, this current terrain here. Just want to check the wheat. I see a creeper over there. And it hasn't grown really at all. So yeah, also I added this here. I think it's pretty cool. Or I didn't add this here. I just dug this part away and there were leaves under here. And I think it's pretty cool. And it'll act as an easy way to be able to see what the sky looks like. So if it becomes day, I can easily tell through the leaves. And know that I'll be able to come out. Because I don't really have any windows yet. I probably could actually add a window. But I'm afraid if I do, that'll cause all of this to fall. Yeah, that will. So I do that when I can actually go outside. So yeah, we'll probably add windows here next episode, so it'll be easier to see outside the base. Anyway, thanks for watching. Richard out. This has been Survival Craft.